All right. Here in round one, we have the choice. We'll play first. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. We don't have a blue mana, but we've got an interceptor to keep us busy if we can't find blue mana, and we have two drop with good removal back up. I think this hand is fine. I mean, clearly it requires lands to be as amazing as I want it to, but still a perfectly acceptable hand. All right, land I will take. So now we get to go Dramoka Warrior into Interceptor Megamorph. Uh, except, of course, I guess if he plays a two-drop creature, I may want to use something on it. All right, no two-drop creature. That's good. No blue mana yet, which is a bit worrisome, but it is our most prevalent color in our mana base. We have nine uh, islands, and we're still doing just fine, so not overly concerned. We have answers for the next two creatures he plays, which is also pretty good. It's going to really let us uh, tempo some damage out pretty effectively. All right, so I can, I'm pretty sure he just tossed that out to uh, block, so I'm much more tempted to just pacify it and continue to beat down. I don't want to use Sandblast because that prevents me from dealing my damage. Gives him the block first. I mean, granted, uh, morphs tend to have, when they flip up, have an ability in this set, but uh, I, I just want to continue to push the damage through. If I get an island, I get to flip this up and just deal really nice damage. Okay, so definitely just tossing stuff out there as blocking uh, fodder, which is fine. So we'll get in there and we'll sandblast the heel cutter. Probably blocks the morph, I guess. I don't know, actually. So we'll sandblast that. Continue to get some damage through. Just desperately hunting for that blue mana. Once we get that blue mana, we're in just such amazing shape. Tarka Pummeler. Each creature you control can't be blocked. Okay. So he's got a good blocker. I just need a blue mana right this turn and we'll be good. There it is. Flip up this. Get in for four and pass. So he's got to use removal on this now. And uh, even if he does, we can still follow up with an Adept into an Ojitai's Breath, which is good. Yep. And he had to punish his life total for that, so that's perfectly acceptable. Still in very good shape. Um, ooh, Stratus Dancer. I wish that I could use that right away. Um, I think we just go Adept Pass. I don't have the fifth land to flip this up. And Adept is just going to be lethal next turn with Ojitai's Breath. Although, I guess I could do Ojitai's Breath now, get in for three. Yeah, that that's that's actually probably the play, now that I think about it. What this does is let me continue to get in with Warrior. And even if he plays another creature, I can just lock it down. So, I think that that probably gives us a victory. Yes, he's removal. Oh, well, I guess that does actually work. Does actually work for my opponent. But we're still, I mean, we basically force him to uh, make a trade here too, which is also fine. All right, so we get in with Warrior, make him trade off his Hexproofer. And we're going to play Stratus Dancer, Megamorphed, and uh, we have to counter spells with that too. I should have actually, I guess, well, that's actually okay. So I could have countered that, which is a bit of a mistake, but I think that we're just going to likely win next turn because we have a flyer that can counter removal. So he basically has to draw removal here. 
I guess I could have just done Ojutai summons, not shown him the, the rare. Okay, so now we just have victory. I, admittedly, our opponent did quite good there. Uh, considering we were ahead like that whole game, our opponent got close to getting back in this. The reason I like this matchup... Uh, ooh, and he has a Bowmaster too. That's worrisome. Okay. The reason I like this matchup is uh, our opponent's got fairly expensive stuff, which is really going to make stuff like Ojutai's Breath, um, Sandblast. Basically, our, our cheap tempo removal is going to be much better in this matchup, as well as our counterspell creatures. I think they're going to be really nice as well. Um... So we're on the draw now. Our opponent does have stuff uh, that I can negate. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure I want to change anything. That 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 What we just did worked so well for us there. Even being late on our blue mana, we were still able to do a lot of work. I could actually see reducing stature being a decent option. But Sandblast appears to be able to kill everything anyway. So maybe it's not real. It's not necessary. Yeah, I, th I think we're fine. I think we just do game two, try again. Um, this hand's fine, does require lands, uh, but we've got some good Megamorph stuff, and uh, we have a Sandblast if stuff gets, you know, super hairy. Alright, Spellfist is a fine draw, I still am going to need lands, but Spellfist is an okay start. Two drop of Guardian Shield Bear, well, what do you know, Spellfist is a pretty amazing counter to that. So it tells me he's probably got another morph this turn if he's playing this as a two drop. That's what I would guess. Yes. It is a safe guess. So if I exploit, I can counter a creature spell. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's just get an interceptor down for now. That way if we draw another land, we can start bashing in. So if he attacks with Morph, okay. Heal Cutter, that's fine. Ojitai's Breath is also fine. I think I most likely want to Sandblast the Heal Cutter. The problem is he gets an attack with that. Let me think. I can also Ojitai's Breath to Heal Cutter and Bash for four. Maybe he trades the... Hmm. I can actually swing with both, see if he does any blocks, and then leave up Sandblast for Heal Cutter. That's not bad. And if he blocks my spell fist with it, like, it's obviously a dangerous block for him, so I feel like he probably just takes it. And then that gets rid of heal cutter right away. Granted, I might trade my interceptor for a shield bearer, but since I've got way more cards in my hand than my opponent, I feel like that ultimately works out better for me. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swing here and see how my opponent blocks. I feel like he likely doesn't want to block. And like I said, if he, tr yeah, he, he doesn't want to block, which makes sense. So now we pass. We're going to sandblast the heel cutter. And even if he gives it plus two, plus two, that's not enough. So 
so no blocks. The reason I didn't want to do Ojitai's Breath is I think I just like it more later. So we can trump Tread Upon, we trump uh, the plus two plus two Death Touch Reach nonsense. Um, so I believe Sandblast is, is good enough here. There's probably something I'm missing, but I can't think of what it is. I guess collateral damage, maybe. Ooh, all right. Tark Efreet's a pretty bonkers one. So, going to take a ton of damage from that, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not the end-all, be-all. Unfortunately, missing the land drop there is pretty painful, but we're going to play Ojitai's Breath on this now and uh, at least begin to overtake the race. Our opponent also, I believe, missed their land drop. I'm not exactly sure, but... Basically have to use Ochtai's Breath because cannot keep up with the Atarka Efreet at this point. Alright, another morph. So think that we're just going to keep the Efreet locked down. All right. Unfortunate that we're still missing the land drops, but Gleam of Authority is actually a pretty good draw. Um, I think we'll do it on the Spell Fist. And swing here. I'm not going to bolster because I want to use this as a blocker. So I'm going to bolster at the end of his turn. Okay, um, I think we're going to take eight here. My plan is to just eat his shield bearer and take eight. I think that works for me. I mean, obviously I'm not thrilled about it, but... Oh, he had more? Well, that's unfortunate, but... Uh, what can you do? I, I just didn't draw well enough. I, I didn't see any lands that whole game. So hopefully I can draw some actual lands. And uh, I think our deck's going to shine. Our deck is amazing. Our deck is absolutely incredibly good. So all I have to do is be able to get a good distribution of lands and spells. And I very much believe in our deck. I have a, just so much faith in how good our deck is. Um, I, I, I'm, at this point, I'm actually just tempted to cut this for negate. Our opponent's shown that he has enough tricks and removal where I think negate's going to be really good if he's banking on, you know, a trick. Um, and Slipey on Sight just really was aggravating uh, to look at that game where I've got just 
so many, so much things to do and don't have any lands to do it. So that that's always frustrating. But um, hopefully we can draw, like I said, a good distribution of lands and spells. And I really do have just infinite faith in our deck if we can. Um, yeah, this looks good to me. Uh, I guess we don't have the double white for Erish and Foremost. That could cost us. Well, we'll see. Being able to leave up Negate and Sandblast is nice, but yeah, I definitely want to rip... I definitely want to rip a, a white mana. There it is. All right. So probably a little bit land light is my guess. So all I need to do is resolve this foremost and protect it with negate, and I feel like it can go a long way. Well, that did not work out in any way, shape, or form. He had one turn to do it, and completely did it. So that sucks, but that's okay. It sucks, but it's okay at the same time. Um, so I could hardcast Interceptor, or I could Megamorph it. I think Megamorph it's probably better. I'd much rather have a four power attacker, I think. Um, and this lets me block the Inoc guide as well. All right, well, not block the Inoc guide, I guess, if he's got a combat trick. All right. So I can Surveyor to bounce his morph, but um, this is interesting. I think I actually pass. This might seem strange, but basically what I want to do is leave up Negate or Megamorphing this. I want to leave back his Zynok Guide. I want him to use spells or tricks or whatever. Um, that's okay. I can handle that. That's good too. Okay, so now we get that down. Um, it's a good draw. I think what we're going to do is Pacify the heel cutter. We're going to get in for four and leave up Sandblast Negate. Granted, I could have used Surveyor, but then I would have tapped out. So I kind of want to save Surveyor for when I need it. And I want to leave up Negate to protect my Interceptor since Interceptor is a pretty big deal. I'm winning the race currently, so I don't need to sandblast yet. Mm, okay. May have to bust out the surveyor now. Three cards in my opponent's hand. Strong Arm Monk. That's a pretty good one. 
I think that we just surveyor the summit prowler. I feel like that keeps his turn busy. So, unfortunately, this leaves me open to removal this turn, but I still think it's ultimately worth it. All right, so if he has a combat trick, I guess I want him to play it. So we'll block the guide. He can play a combat trick to kill my surveyor. I think that's okay. Yeah, because now he can't replay the summit prowler either. So I think that's okay. Although I guess he can if he has a land draw. He did? Well, it's a bit unfortunate, but still okay. So now he's just a land away from getting this critique online, I guess, which could be an issue. All right, let's just continue to bash down. Now we'll play Soul Summons. And pass. So now I've got Negate up to protect Interceptor. I have Sandblast for uh, Summit Prowler. So I think this is probably the Crotique. That's interesting. Um, I imagine this is going to be the 3-4. I think I just Sandblast here. I think his plan is to flip that up. And it'll be the Reach guy, so I'm just going to Sandblast his Summit Prowler. And I'm going to do it before blocks, so in case he pumped it or something, I could still take care of it. Oh, he had a Bowmaster there. Alright, that's actually still okay. Oh, that was a great draw. So, take care of Blocker, leave up Negate. If he goes for flying reach, we've got the negate for it. Or a reach pump or whatever. No! I refuse to let you get value. There it is, baby! There it is. Deck played excellent for us. I loved our deck. Our opponent's deck was very good, too. Um, loved how our deck played. Very fun deck. All right. We'll see you around, too.